Steamboat Geyser had its 32nd major eruption of the year, adding to the record it broke earlier in 2018. MTN's John Shear reports on what is making Steamboat so very active this year. Steamboat's previous record was 29 major eruptions back in 1964. They're fickle entities. Before it sprang back to life on March 15th of this year, Steamboat had only erupted four times in the previous 15 years. Most geysers are not predictable like Old Faithful and Grand and other geysers are. The last record in 1964 occurred just a few years after the massive 1959 Quake Lake earthquake that claimed 36 lives. This year's activity at Steamboat follows the Maple Creek swarm of more than a thousand small earthquakes in 2017. Seismicity acts as a kind of conduit cleaner or, or vent cleaner uh, or, or plumbing cleaner. Hungerford says shaking the ground around geysers can also change the flow of underground water. We are learning about the underground plumbing. We have a lot of work to do in understanding how all these uh, these geysers are connected. That work is aided by one of the most dense arrays of seismic monitors at any thermal site in the world. That, combined with other monitors and even satellite imagery, is beginning to paint a picture of what's happening underground. But right now we have a coarse idea of, in some areas of, of what is going on underneath. Someday, scientists hope to have a complete map of Yellowstone's underground thermal systems. We're going to get to that point. Really? We will, eventually. It's, it's going to take a lot of um, know-how and ingenuity, and we're, we're, we're working on it. Hungerford won't predict how soon that may happen, but says scientists are hard at work on building that definitive geyser map. In Bozeman, I'm John Shearer for MTN News. And in case you're interested, geysertimes.org has a list of all of Steamboat Geyser's eruptions.